You know, when I was uh, growing up in the projects, I never imagined that I'd be running a large uh, global um, hundred plus million dollar corporation. But I knew for a fact that I was going to be extremely successful. Uh, and that's where it comes back to belief. Uh, it's not a surprise to me. It's not, uh, I woke up one day and I'm pinching myself. Uh, these are things that I've always, always believed. These are things that I've always said to myself. You know, my mother, she used to always tell me that uh, this mole that I have on my hand, uh, it, was, it was designed for one purpose. And she used to tell me that ever since I've been five years old. She says, one day you're going to be a successful business person. And so I believed it. And, uh, and she used to also tell me, uh, she said, son, listen, God put you on earth for two reasons, to be a leader and a provider. And every time I would get in trouble, and every time I'd do something bad, instead of always getting a spanking, and I got my share of spankings, it was always reinforced with, you shouldn't do that. Remember, you're here to be a leader and a provider. And so that affirmation, it just stuck with me. And so uh, when I became an adult, uh, it was so ingrained in my subconscious that I had to act out what she had programmed me with. And so that's why I certainly believe um, that if you believe things and if you repeat them over and over, you can achieve them.